Hmm. Be thankful to God for every good thing you have in your life. Even if something seems very, very small, give thanks to God. Look now. What if you are ungrateful? What if you are unappreciative? Yes, God gave me a new car, but that was last year, and that car is not all that, you know? Yes, I was in trouble five years ago. Yes, God helped me, but he could have did, he could have done much more than what he has done. God has been doing things for me, but it's very small and I expect him to do more and more and more and more. And if he doesn't answer my prayers, I am going to stop praying to him. I am going to stop reading my Bible. I will turn my back against him if he's not going to do what I ask. What if you are that way? Now, let's say you are a good parent, which I think there aren't too many of them in this world. But let's say you are a good parent. If your child is acting unruly, unruly, if they are acting, if your child is acting unappreciative, would you reward your child at that time? Okay. If you are a Christian parent, and if you want your child to turn out well, would you reward your child while they are acting up? Now, if you reward your child while they are acting up and continue in that way, okay. I think you are teaching your child bad habits or I believe you are raising your child up in a bad way because probably in that child's mind, hey, all I have to do is act up, be rude and unappreciative, and mama is going to give me what I want. All I got to do is act out and hit the ground and begin crying out loud. And mama, daddy, is going to give me what I want. If you are a good parent, would you reward your child when they are acting up? I know I wouldn't. Look now, I am not rich, you know, I don't have one million dollars, I don't have a Rolls Royce or Mercedes, I don't have a Bugatti, huh? But some of the time, I don't do it as much. 
I give God thanks. Thank you for my old car. <laughs> my car has so much rust on it, but I thank God for it. I give God thanks. I try to do what is right. And I believe some of my prayers get answered. Yes. Now, I can't really say I have not seen all of my prayers get answered, but I believe some of my prayers get answered. Think about it. Give God thanks for the good and the bad. I have learned, and maybe you have not learned this, I believe God can work through bad situations in your life. I even believe he allows bad things to happen to us. So something may seem bad, but if you do it right, if you trust in him, if you don't turn your back against him, I believe that bad thing or should I say that bad situation will turn out in your favor? Maybe not. I am not saying this is the case for everyone, but much of the time, I believe it is the case for me. Show appreciation to God. I think too. I think the more appreciation you show to God when he does do things in your life, I think you will, how can I say this? I believe something in you will begin appreciating almost everything, almost everything good to where you won't have that, you know, God could have done better. You know, he could have blessed me with a bigger car, a bigger house. Like you won't really, at least for me, at least for me, I think you won't really have that ungratefulness within you. Look now, I think a good parent will discipline their child when they are wrong. How can I call myself a good parent if I see my child growing up in the wrong way or learning bad habits and I won't correct that child? If my child is acting up constantly, you know, constantly acting up, and if my child is asking me for something, why in the world would I give that treat or a reward to my child while they are acting up? Please think about that. Yes, God blesses the sinner as well as the unrighteous. Hmm, that is the same thing, right? I believe God blesses the sinner as well as the righteous, but God does correct people as well. I believe he punishes people. So if you are going the wrong way, if you are asking God for stuff and you feel like God is not answering your prayer, and if you are choosing to live in the wrong way, now, I think you can assume like, hey, maybe, maybe your prayers aren't being answered because of the way you are behaving. So is that a time to get angry at God and be determined, I guess, be determined 
to turn your back on God more? Or, hey, let me try to change my life. Let me try to align my life with the rules of the Bible that apply to me. Show appreciation to God. Like, give God while, while you are working, while you are at work, like inside of your mind, begin thanking God for what you have. You know, God, thank you for food. Thank you for a place to stay. Thank you for my car. Thank you for my teeth. Thank you for my hair. Thank you for my blue shirt. You know, begin thanking God on and on and on. You may think that is insignificant. I think some people, man, I think some people believe God is some type of uh, like mechanical being or something like somebody someone that doesn't have feelings like a robot or something like that like god can't feel like god doesn't appreciate <laughs> appreciation or something like that look now i believe god has a heart and he does have feelings what do you think he will feel if you begin showing appreciation, giving him thanks? Think about that. Like, if you came to me and if you came to me and said, Kevin, you know, thank you for what you have been. You know, for me, I don't really care too much about people thanking me. But if some of the time well let me use another example if you go to a normal person i guess i am not normal but i guess if you go to a normal person and you begin thanking that person i think they will really really appreciate that i appreciate it some but I'd rather for people to thank God other than me. So begin showing God appreciation. Let me stop here. God bless you.